Output and the utilize commands in AutoCAD is actually part of the command itself, which is the subcommand. So today I want to just show you a couple of the commands that I've, I've seen the subcommands not being utilized very often um, by, by draftsmen and users. So the first one I want to take a look at is the rectangle command. So with the rectangle command, uh, you'll notice that um, you know before you even uh, put your first point down, that you can actually try and chamfer or fill it automatically. So normally what we do is you you know, start your command, select, um, you know, bring it out. And then if you want to go and fill at the edges, you'd then go and activate the fillet command, then specify your radius, five mil, and then either multiple, and because it's a, a, a polyline, I can just use the polyline command and it would go fillet all of those. Now, imagine we could do it while we're still in the rectangle command. So, you know, I've done about eight or nine steps. Maybe I could do it in three or four. So let's try it again. Go to the rectangle command. Before I even put my first point down, select fillet. And there, specify fillet radius for your rectangle. Let's make it 10 and specify. So there we go. I'm able to do my rectangle with fillets automatically. As you can see that it also works with your chamfer command. So if I go to my chamfer command, you'll see they specify the chamfer distance. Let's keep it on 10. Oopsie. <laughs> Let's keep it on 10 and start drawing our rectangle. And there we go. Rectangle with the chamfer. Now, you just need to know that or be aware of the fact that it still stays at a chamfer at 10 or fill its radius of 10 if you if you did specify that in your sub command until you take the radius or chamfer back to zero. So if I go back to my rectangle command, and I before I do that, I'm going to say fill it. I'm going to say radius zero, and now you're back to your good old faithful rectangle. Now, I don't know if you've noticed this, on the second part of, of the rectangle command, you also can specify an area, dimensions, or rotation. So instead of just clicking, um, and then maybe filling in the, the, the length and the width afterwards, you can put in your dimension straight away. And with that, let's make it 100 and make it 75. And there's my rectangle. Now, this is not finished yet, but it still asks me where to specify this rectangle. And let's just go and put it in the bottom right hand corner over here. So, as you can see, um, there's quite a few sub commands that, that are in, in just you know, this, this rectangle command that you've got over here. Now, let's take a look at the copy command. Now, this is probably one of my more favorite commands that we've got out there, um, as it is quite powerful. So, if I go to the copy command, normally what one does is select it, and then, you know, select your base point, and then start copying to wherever you want to. Now, within, and I don't know if you've noticed this, within the copy command, uh, you'll see that there's also an array subcommand. So if I go back to the copy command over here, space my base point. Before I select that first point, you'll notice at the bottom there I've got an array. So select that array, and then it tells me how many number, well, into the number of items you'd like to array. So I'm going to seven, and look at that. You can go and array seven copies in a row. And not only can you just do it from the first point of the first object to the first point of the second object, you can also say, I'd like to fit. So what that does is, it will then fit your first and last object into a distance that you specify. So once again, AutoCAD, very powerful, um, you know, has some great subcommands, subcommands that you might not notice because, you know, when you have started, when you start drawing with AutoCAD, you kind of just want to get through it, and, you know, right, rectangle, then fill it. How about rectangle and fill it? Or with the instance of copy, you know, copy and then make a raise of it, or copy, 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 you know, five times in a row. How about copy array, specify your number, and specify the distance you want in between. Thank you very much for watching.